Good evening, everyone. I pray that you are having a wonderful and a fantastic day in the Lord. I'm coming um, to announce that we will be having our class at 6 o'clock today. Please join me, share the news with your friends and family to invite them to join us tonight at 6 o'clock p.m. for our TNBC Tuesday night Bible class. We will be discussing the spirit of infirmity, the spirit of infirmity. And I, I'm sure you are aware of infirmities that take place in your lives or the lives of others. So allow the spirit of God to minister to you to help bring you healing and deliverance through the word of God. Also, I'm come a, a listing and asking everyone, uh, requesting that everyone would pray, that you would pray for uh, different families who are being attacked with this virus. I just found out some news today that one of my friends, uh, Joseph uh, Harris, his mother has been uh, afflicted with the uh, COVID-19 as well. And she's, um, you know, uh, having some issues with her health. And we know that God is the healer. He is able to deliver and set us free from no matter what the enemy attacks us with. It's so important as we as people of God walk in wisdom, walk in truth, get us some vitamins, some minerals and different things that are out there in this world to help build your immune system. Because if you don't take proaction, proactive measures against this sicknesses in the atmosphere, the enemy will break you down. But God is greater. He is greater than your adversary. He's greater than infirmity. He's greater than sicknesses and disease. So I want to encourage you to stay in the word of God. Most of all, get the word of God in your spirit and allow the word to minister healing to you and bring you to a place of life and peace. So let's have a word of prayer. Father God, we thank you for the day, for your grace and mercy bestowed upon us. We thank you for the power of the cross, the resurrection life that brought us redemption, Father God, from sin issues, sickness, and diseases, God. As we're standing on the word of God, we decree and declare the blood of Jesus is still works. There is power in the blood of Jesus. And Lord God, we bind the spirit of infirmity. We come against the sicknesses and diseases that attach itself to the immune system of your people, Father God, to try to kill, steal, and destroy. Your word tells us that you came to give us life and that more abundantly. And Father God, in the name of Jesus, we take authority now, God, over the body of the people of God. We take authority over the mindsets of the people of God. They will receive healing in their minds, their spirits, their bodies will line up with the word of God and be healed. You sent your word to heal them and deliver them from every destruction. Father, every sickness that the enemy attaches itself against the people of God is, Father God, destruction. And we come against it in Jesus' name. We pray that wisdom and knowledge and understanding be released into your people, God, to take proactive measures of God to fight against these sicknesses and diseases that will come against their immune system, their minds, their spirits, their bodies, oh God, their family members, oh God. We plead the blood of Jesus, God, that every person is walking in the healing promises of God's word, walking, Father God, in the anointing. It's the anointing that destroys the yoke. It's the anointing, Father God, that sets the captives free. It's the anointing, Father, that destroys the yokes off the people's necks and the bondages of God of sin out of their lives. And we thank you, Lord God, as you begin to expose, Father God, hidden sins in our hearts, God, the things that cause us to be, Father, victimized by the enemy that prevent us from being healed, that you reveal it, God, by faith in the mighty name of Jesus, that we will receive the healing and be set free by the power of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, your word says a merry heart does good like a medicine. A broken spirit dries up the bones. And Lord God, in the name of Jesus, God, we decree and declare that your people are being flooded with joy in place of heaviness and depression. They're being filled with peace, oh God, that surpasses all natural comprehensions. They're being infiltrated, Father God, with the power of God, Father, to radiate in their blood system, their blood streams, oh God. That every sickness, every virus, oh God, every father God parasite, father God, everything that attaches itself to the immune system is not of God is being purged out right now by the blood of Jesus Christ. I thank you, Lord God, 
that we call on the name of Jesus. Father, your word releases healing, God. Your word releases the, the liberty. It releases the freedom, God, that we can walk, Father, in the fullness of who you are as you reveal yourself to us in ways we have not known, oh God. Lord God, I thank you that in the name of Jesus, Father, people are being set free right now, Father. They're in the hospitals. They're in convalescent halls. Father, we're at homebound. Father, God, those who are lying on their bed of afflictions, they're being set free right now by the power of the word of God. Your word breathes life, oh God. Your word produces life. There is life in the blood of the lamb. And we decree and declare the blood is being smeared, applied to the doorpost of their hearts, oh God. That their mindsets, Father God, are being transformed by the word of God to receive healing, God. So the man thinks he is, he is, oh God. Your words are so the man thinks is in his heart, so is he. And we come, Father, in agreement with the word of God, where there's two or three gathered in your name, that you are there, Father God, manifesting yourself in ways we have not known, that we'll see your power at work. Okay. If you can raise, Father God, the dead man, Lazarus, to life, if you can open up the blinded eyes, if you can unstop the deaf ears, if you can cause, Father God, the, the crippled to walk, Father, we know if you can straighten up a bent back, oh God, you're able to heal all kind of manner of diseases and sicknesses of God. These things have no power against your power, God. You are are the greatest power that works in our lives. You are the greatest power, Father, that's manifesting us as we're trusting and standing on your word. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, I thank you. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. I thank you, Lord God, that we have the victory, oh God. We claim victory right now, God. We claim the victory, oh God, in the name of Jesus over every infirmity, God. Right now, in Jesus' name, over diabetes, Father God, over heart conditions, over high blood pressure, over rheumatoid arthritis, over cancer cells, oh God. Father, we claim the victory right now, God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we know that the enemy is running rampant in the land, oh God, seeking whom he may devour. Father, build our faith in you today. Build our trust and confidence in your word, God, that we would know the word without a shadow of a doubt. We would stand on the word, being steadfast, being unmovable, being unshakable, God. We're standing rooted and grounded in the Lord Jesus Christ, knowing, God, that he has conquered he has redeemed us from the curse of the law of sickness and sin and death, oh God. He redeemed us from the spirit of poverty and lack. He redeemed us, oh God, from all the wiles of the devil, God. So even though attacks may come, Father, they have no power against the people of God because we're resting. We're resting in the finished work of the cross. And Father God, Jesus gave us the victory when he rose again from the dead. Father, he said, thanks be to God who always calls us to triumph in Christ Jesus. And God, we're triumphing. We're storming the gates of hell of sickness right now, God. We're storming the spirit of infirmity right now, God. We're standing on the word of God, decreeing and declare that these things have no power or influence in our lives anymore, God. We will not bow to the sickness. We will not bow to the doctor's reports. We will not bow to the hospital reports. We will not bow, Father God, to Baal. We are bow to our God, the living God, where life flows from God. You said guard our hearts for out of it flows the issues of life. And Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree and declare that we're guarding our hearts right now. We're setting up a guard around our hearts right now. Jesus, be a fence round the borders that we would know with confidence, God, that it's you who is at work in us, oh God, to perfect your will in our lives, oh God. I thank you, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus. That every sickness of God is being broken. It's being broken right now in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we thank you, oh God, that we're strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. We're standing on the word of God. And we know, Father God, that your word will not lie. Your word, Father, will not return to you void. But you said your word that you sent to us, Father God, will produce what you want to do in our lives, oh God, and will not come back to you empty, but it shall prosper. We decree and declare, O oh God, that, brother, I wish above all that you would prosper and be in health even as thy soul prosper. And we thank you, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus, that we're prospering in health, O oh God. We're prospering in our mindsets. We're prospering in our hearts, O oh God. We're standing on the truth of God's word. Father, we, we know without a shadow of doubt, God, that you're able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all we ask or think, O oh God. 
according to your power that's working us. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord God, as we're standing. We're going to keep standing with the full arm of God to quench the fiery darts of the wicked one, O oh God. Every attack, every snare, every wile of the devil, every guile, oh God, every trick, every trap the enemy try to set before us, God. We will not bow to it, God, but we're standing upon the word of God, trampling the enemy underneath our feet. Because greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. And I thank you, Lord God, in Jesus' name, that you're faithful, God. You are faithful to do what you promised to do. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, we thank you that our family members of God are receiving the Zoe life of God that's permeate their existence. The healing anointing is flowing through their bodies right now, God. Father, all that pain and ailments they're suffering with, oh God, mental torment, Father God, they're receiving the anointing of healing right now, God. I decree and declare the healing is flowing to those who hear this word right now, God. The word of God is flowing into their situation, God. It's flowing into, Father God, their their, their financial problems. It's flowing, oh God, into their health conditions. It's flowing right now, God, into their joints and their ligaments. It's flowing, Lord God, into their family members, their children, God. Father God, the rebe rebellious children, Father God, the stubborn people, God, who have turned their backs from hearing God's word. Father, the word of God is flowing right there in those places, God. And you're setting them free by the power of the Holy Spirit. And we thank you, Lord God, that you're faithful to do what you promised, God. In the mighty name of Jesus. And we thank you that testimonies are being built right now, God. Testimonies are being built right now in the name of Jesus. And I thank you, Lord God, as we're trusting in you, that you continue to do your work in our lives. We've got to draw our attention that we're not turned to the situations and circumstances or the trials and the tests, but we turn to the Lord just like King Jehoshaphat when he found out the invasion armies were coming against him, God. He called a solemn assembly of fasting, Father, even the animals had to fast, oh God. He began to seek the Lord. Cause our hearts to turn to consecration, to seek the Lord when you're able to be found. That we, Father God, would get a word from you, God, just like King Jehoshaphat. He realized that power and might is in thy hand, O oh God, that no one can stand against thee. Father, we have the greatest weapon on our side. That's the word of God. And we know, God, when we speak the word of God, we declare the word of God, we stand on the word of God, that you shine in the midst of our situation, God, to let your light shine in darkness, to drive the enemy away. And we thank you, Father God, right now, in the name of Jesus, Father God, that your word, it will prosper. Your word will manifest in our bodies, God, in our mindsets, in our conditions, in our hearts, oh God. Your word will manifest, God. We decree and declare, Father God, that the kingdom of heaven is within us. We thank you, Father God, that the kingdom authority has been given to our hands to tread upon serpents and scorpions over all the powers of the enemy. And Father God, you said nothing shall by any means hurt us. We're standing on the word of God. And we know, Father God, that you said, I am the Lord thy God that healeth thee. And we thank you, Lord God, that you sent your word to heal and deliver God. And it will do what you promised to do. In Jesus' name. And I thank you, Lord God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, Auntie, God bless you. Hey, Victor, God bless you. Hey, Dwight, God bless you for joining me. Yeah, I just felt like praying this evening because so many people that I've been coming in contact with lately have been violated by the sickness of the COVID-19 and other issues have been affecting their minds and their, their respiratory systems. And God says in the name of you, that devil is a lie, that his word will heal you. You got to have the faith in God's word. Father, increase our faith right now in Jesus' name. I decree an ever-increasing faith taking place in the hearts of every believer right now, God, to believe hope without hope, hope against hope. Believe, Father God, faith over, Father, doubt that we're standing on the promise of your word, Father God, that you would increase our faith to live by faith, to believe, oh God, what you promised it will happen in our lives, in this hour, in this season, in this moment. Moment. Oh God, your word will produce life, oh God, and not death. 
You said that we need to get into agreement with your word to begin to speak what you say. Speak, Father. Paul says, we believe that Christ rose again from the dead. Therefore, we believe. And Father God, we continue to believe that what you've done for us, God, you've given us everything that pertains to life and godliness to cause us to have a satisfying, prosperous life. And we believe by faith, oh God. That it is so according to your word. As we believers, we come into agreement with your word, Father God. We believe that the word is working in our lives. The word is manifesting. The word is producing life. The word is breaking down the strongholds. The word is tearing down the spirit of doubt. The word, Father God, is increasing our faith. The word of God is producing healing. The word of God is changing our thinking to come into agreement with your word, to believe what you believe, oh God. You said have faith in God. Help us to have faith in God. That whatever we pray and ask for in your name, we believe that we receive it and we shall have it, God, according to your word. Mark eleven twenty four, God, we will have what we believe when we pray for it, God. And we come praying right now, God, and we thank you that we will see the manifestation of your word in our lives, in the lives of our family members, our loved ones, God. They will receive the healing, God. We will hear the testimonies coming forth of God, how you brought them out, Father, when they were close to death. And a death experience, God. They were close to death, oh God. But yet you reversed the curse of sickness and death and you set them free, oh God. He who the Son has set free is free indeed. And I thank you, Lord God, that we have been set free by the power of the living God. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Thank you for tuning in. God bless you. I'll be coming back on live in about 30 minutes. Uh, for the Bible class tonight at 6 o'clock, we're going to be talking about the spirit of infirmity. I really believe this is a, a spirit of, a spirit that's going on in our land of infirmity that's taking place across our country. And God has given us the word to overcome the enemy's tactics, to overcome his strategies, to overcome his, his, his temptations, even the spirit of fear. Many people are fearing in this season. And God says he's breaking the spirit of fear off of our mindsets and off of our hearts because we cannot have fear and faith at the same time. If you're going to have faith in God, then continue to believe against hope against hope. That, In other words, don't stop believing. Keep on standing on God's word and know with confidence that it's he who is a work in you to will and do according to his good pleasure. And it's God's pleasure that we walk in his will. It's God's pleasure that we have that faith to believe that we can move the mountain. We can speak to the mountains of sickness, the mountains of infirmities. We command those mountains to be moved and it will move and be cast into the midst of a spiritual sea out of our lives. Because God gave us the word to overcome everything the enemy throws our way. But we got to stand on God's word and believe it without a shadow of doubt and know that God is working in our lives to, to perfect his will in our lives on a daily basis. God bless you and thank you again for tuning in. Keep praying. Don't stop praying. Don't stop believing. But keep on praying. Shalom.